Now I'm looking at this top right corner and uh, there's nothing here apart from a lot of Bramwell trimmings. There's a couple of galvanised metal tubs but they don't seem to have much in them. Also this bath seems to be pretty much empty so uh, I might use this corner as a compost heap for now because Tony's got his compost heap on the other side of the fence and there's another compost heap on that side of the fence. I know it's a nice sunny spot but it'll be in the corner and out of the way and eventually I might plant something into it and this is going to be the asparagus bed then I can deal with these later but well, this corner is not doing much and it'll be easy to deal with whereas here it's all full of grass and I need to actually repair this coal frame before I uh, do anything whereas I can uh, put something quick in that corner dump hedge trimmings and things into it and basically forget about it we've got this builder's bag partially full of weeds and uh, I was going to bring in wood chips but as we've got all these dry privet branches they'll act as the carbon so I'm not going to bring in any wood chips for that so this this tub is full of this stuff so uh, it will all add carbon and then I'll add another layer of uh, weeds on top of this once I've put a layer of this stuff on Put all the uh, privet branches from the bath in here. Now it looks like a lot, but it uh, squeezes down quite a bit. At uh, once, uh, put the weeds and stuff in, it'll fall in between the gaps, so uh, it will collapse down quite quickly. And then I can put another layer of weeds, and then finally either some more privet branches or wood chips or leaves or something. Having moved the uh, privet branches, I can see there's a lot of Obviously all the leaves and stuff, they's down here, they's starting to decompose. So that can stay at the bottom of the bath, apart from the brick I'll take out. And there's a couple of sticks, but apart from that, the rest of this stuff can go in. Uh, and you know, it's starting to rot down and, and the bottom of it is quite good compost-like material. So uh, that's good. Hopefully it'll be the same with these two uh, galvanised tubs. Right, well these two tubs have got a little bit of uh, composted or semi-composted stuff in them. I'll see if Tim wants these tubs, if not I'll uh, put them to use. But this corner's sort of cleared to the bath. These two are more or less empty so they can be sorted. So they've got a compost heap at that corner and Tony's got his compost along that other side of that fence. So I might put all that uh, manure and hedge clippings in a builder's bag in this corner for now. Actually it's a nice sunny corner so eventually I will put something here. Could even put a tree here couldn't I? Could put some bushes here, fruit bushes or something. And because it's had that stuff shading it there's some nettles springing up and there's some nettles over here but uh, it wouldn't take long to sort this out, decide what to do with it. This side of the curl frame is actually brick so uh, that's solid on that side. I'll think about it. I'm just checking the bottom of the tubs to make sure that uh, they're not rusted through and there's enough drainage holes.
Well, I thought I'd roughly clear this corner of uh, some of the sticks and things, and then I pulled this massive. I mean, it is absolutely massive roots on this uh, nettle. So I thought, well, I'll pull that. And then when I did that, I actually pulled all this soil away, and under it, it's actually brick. It is absolutely thick, matted with weed roots. But it's brick underneath, so uh, I guess uh, it's only good for containers. Well, we might dig that up next year, but for now it'll do. I just need to put that builder's bag in this corner for now and fill it and deal with this properly next year. These bags do have holes at the bottom. Some have bigger holes than others. So uh, worms can actually get into these bags and do their work. Okay, I've sort of half filled this bag with hedge trimmings, but obviously this privet hedge, once it gets some weight on it, it'll go down. So it looks like a lot, but uh, once it starts rotting down, it'll go down to nothing. Now I'll add some of the autumn's dry leaves to this, and then I can cover it with that layer of uh, manure. Yesterday, one of the other pot holders had a delivery of uh, manure, but by the end of the day, they'd had all they could use, and there was a bit left. And they said, well, you can have it for free. And I took a couple of uh, wheelbarrow loads, but it's not really, really well broken down. So uh, I'm going to let it age for a year before I put it on the plants. And I've uh, added a bit of manure and I'll add a bit more. But it's uh, starting to turn bad so I'm going to go home and I'll add a bit more tomorrow. 